Part One. Listen to the following five dialogues. Choose the best answer. The dialogues will be read twice, and the second time is for you to check your answers. I wish I had left my wallet at home, but I'm sure I put it in my back pocket. Oh no! It's so easy for a thief to take it from there. You should put your money in your breast pocket. You look pleased with yourself. What's happened? I'm having a poem published in a new book. Congratulations! Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, I want to borrow a reference book, but I can't find it. Try the card catalog. I heard you married. How did you meet your husband? Did you use the internet as I told you? No, I posted an ad in the newspaper. There were dozens of email responses, but it wasn't until my friend introduced him to me that I found my Mister Wright. Most of the world's rainforests are in danger of destruction by farmers and developers. They are disappearing at a rate of a hundred acres a minute. Yeah, many plants and animals exist only in rainforests. We really need to save the beautiful rainforest. I wish I had left my wallet at home. But I'm sure I put it in my back pocket. Oh no! It's so easy for a thief to take it from there. You should put your money in your breast pocket. You look pleased with yourself. What's happened? I'm having a poem published in a new book. Congratulations! Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, I want to borrow a reference book, but I can't find it. Try the card catalog. I heard you married. How did you meet your husband? Did you use the internet as I told you? No, I posted an ad in the newspaper. There were dozens of email responses, but it wasn't until my friend introduced him to me that I found my Mister Wright. Most of the world's rainforests are in danger of destruction by farmers and developers. They are disappearing at a rate of a hundred acres a minute. Yeah, many plants and animals exist only in rainforests. We really need to save the beautiful rainforest. Part two. Listen to the following five conversations or passages. Choose the best answer according to what you hear. Each text will be read twice.
Jenny, wait up. So, what did you think of the professor's lecture? I think most of what he said just went over my head. That's all right. A lot of what he said is explained in the reading. Hey, would you mind if I borrowed your notes tonight to look them over? No problem. We don't have class until Wednesday. Here you go. Thanks. I just want to make sure I'm prepared for the discussion. Yeah, participation in the discussion is an important part of the education here. Jenny, wait up. So, what did you think of the professor's lecture? I think most of what he said just went over my head. That's all right. A lot of what he said is explained in the reading. Hey, would you mind if I borrowed your notes tonight to look them over? No problem. We don't have class until Wednesday. Here you go. Thanks. I just want to make sure I'm prepared for the discussion. Yeah, participation in the discussion is an important part of the education here. I sent out the invitations to the dinner party. That's good. Now what should we do? We've got to plan the menu. Oh, that's right. Do you have anything in mind? I think I'm going to make the chicken salad we had at the party. Remember, I asked the chef for the recipe. Yeah, but did you forget that Linda doesn't eat chicken? Linda? Oh my gosh! I forgot to invite Linda. She'll be mad at me. Well, everyone's going to forget something sometimes. It's not late yet. I'll make a phone call. Don't worry. Thanks. You see, I think I'm getting old. Looks like you are, sweetheart. Thank you. I sent out the invitations to the dinner party. That's good. Now what should we do? We've got to plan the menu. Oh, that's right. Do you have anything in mind? I think I'm going to make the chicken salad we had at the party. Remember, I asked the chef for the recipe. Yeah, but did you forget that Linda doesn't eat chicken? Linda? Oh my gosh! I forgot to invite Linda. She'll be mad at me. Well, everyone's going to forget something sometimes. It's not late yet. I'll make a phone call. Don't worry. Thanks. You see, I think I'm getting old. Looks like you are, sweetheart. Thank you. Morning, Julia. Did you go to the cinema last night? Yes, it was a good film. But the strangest thing happened when I got home. What? Well, when I got home, I came up the stairs and started to put my key in the door, and I heard a noise in my flat. I thought it was a thief. So what did you do? I ran into the street and phoned the police from the phone box on the corner. They came very quickly, but while they were walking up the stairs, my door opened. I thought, "Oh no!" But it wasn't a thief. Who was it? It was Carl. You know who sits next to me in the office. How did he get in? The gatekeeper let him in. Morning, Julia. Did you go to the cinema last night? Yes, it was a good film. But the strangest thing happened when I got home. What? Well, when I got home, I came up the stairs and started to put my key in the door. And I heard a noise in my flat. I thought it was a thief. So what did you do? I ran into the street and phoned the police from the phone box on the corner. They came very quickly, but while they were walking up the stairs, my door opened. I thought, "Oh no!" But it wasn't a thief. Who was it? It was Carl. You know who sits next to me in the office? How did he get in? The gatekeeper let him in.
Hello, I'm doing a survey of work and leisure time. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, all right. How many hours a week do you normally work? I work about uh about fifty hours a week. So how much free time do you have? Uh, about. Can I think about this for a moment? Yeah, about thirty hours. Thirty hours. And how do you spend your free time? Well, I spend about two hours a day watching TV. So what's that? About fourteen hours a week. And how do you spend the rest of your free time? I don't know. I probably spend about more than an hour a day talking to family or friends. So about ten hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. Then I spend about maybe three hours a week reading, and the rest of the time. I probably spend the rest of the time doing nothing at all. Hello, I'm doing a survey of work and leisure time. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, all right. How many hours a week do you normally work? I work about uh about fifty hours a week. So how much free time do you have? Uh, about. Can I think about this for a moment? Yeah. About thirty hours. Thirty hours. And how do you spend your free time? Well, I spend about two hours a day watching TV. So what's that? About fourteen hours a week. And how do you spend the rest of your free time? I don't know. I probably spend about more than an hour a day talking to family or friends. So about ten hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. Then I spend about maybe. Three hours a week reading, and the rest of the time, I probably spend the rest of the time doing nothing at all. A recent art exhibition in Florida honored the animal often seen as man's most intelligent friend, the dolphin. The exhibition in the Florida Keys featured life-sized dolphin paintings made of wood and other materials. The dolphins were shown at area businesses and along the beach. Organizers paid seven hundred fifty dollars to cover the artists' fees. And the cost of the materials. There were about one hundred dolphin themes. They showed the works of local artists as well as the beach atmosphere the Keys are famous for. Probably the most unique was its artist's Pandora. Pandora, the dolphin painter, is a real dolphin. At the Dolphin Research Center, the playful artist streaks colors across a dolphin painting. Holding a brush in its mouth, the exhibition will be held by the Monroe Council of the Arts as part of a plan to make the Keys an international arts center. A recent art exhibition in Florida honored the animal often seen as man's most intelligent friend, the dolphin. The exhibition in the Florida Keys. Featured life-sized dolphin paintings made of wood and other materials. The dolphins were shown at area businesses and along the beach. Organizers paid seven hundred fifty dollars to cover the artists' fees and the cost of the materials. There were about one hundred dolphin themes. They showed the works of local artists as well as the beach atmosphere the Keys are famous for. Probably the most unique was its artist's Pandora. Pandora, the dolphin painter, is a real dolphin. At the Dolphin Research Center, the playful artist streaks colors across a dolphin painting, holding a brush in its mouth. The exhibition will be held by the Monroe Council of the Arts as part of a plan to make the Keys an international arts center.